All right, so. <laughs> gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> Stupid worms. <laughs> he popped his head up out of his little hole and I got him. Love being a graboid killer. It's not as funny when they uh, pop their heads up under the floorboards and attack you. I'm not sure they can do that while you're actually moving, though. What am I looking at over there? Oh, it's a gravesite. Did did that zombie crawl out of that grave? And what do you think? Does that grave have a katana? Is there a clue for the katana? Does the uh, the signpost clue when the katana's in in the grave? If you didn't know, you can dig up graves, and sometimes there's something in them. But I think the there's there's one I think has a katana, and I, I believe there's like a a particular message when it's got the katana or something like that. They will get stuck in the moving car. Hmm. Been a while since I got to t play uh, tickle fight with uh, with the worms. I had some pretty hilarious tickle fights with worms, though. <laughs> hilarious meaning grinding my teeth and really, really annoyed. <laughs> that kind of tickle fight. Oh, that's right. Aircraft. Uh, ice axe. That's a lot of zombies to either man r change locations or uh, kill. Get the ice axe. I've never actually done it or found it myself for the katana in the grave. I've I've just seen side mentions of it either on Reddit or the discords, but I've never looked at it myself. So, take it with a big old whopping grain of uh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. I, uh, there's just a lot of them. There's just going to be a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, oops. There's going to be a lot of uh, zombies in the helicopter. <laughs> and I don't know if I want to deal with it just to get a crash axe. It's really the only thing there that I would care about. Plus, I'd end up getting shocked by the shocker zombie. I, I, I don't know, though. Yeah, if, if anybody actually does manage to get a katana out of a gravesite, uh, you know. Report in on the Discord with uh, wh what it was about and how it worked. Whether it was the uh, the replica or the, the real steel katana. Things we need to know. Alright, so... Yeah, this is a bit ugly. We've got an air, air wreck... <laughs> with a trail of debris like this that I can't drive through. Uh, as I thought, uh, the road and the forest just kind of kept all the way down right to the border of the city. So, I can't so far see anything I'm too impressed with that I would rest my life to go in after. It'd be nice if we could get up onto a roof with a, uh, the binoculars or something. I wish I could climb on the roof of my Humvee without having to get a, get a stepladder. You'd think I could, you know, climb onto the front bumper and then up onto the roof, but no. Yeah, there's a mass grave right behind me. There's a mass grave right back here. We just... Yeah, right there. It'll fill in behind me here pretty quick. That's not the kind of grave I'm talking about, by the way. <laughs> it's the little lonely individual grave site with a marker that you randomly find out in the world. I don't believe there's anything in the mass grave other than... On the edges, there's uh, usually a row of clothes and stuff. One of the edges, so it's either this edge or this edge. Nothing spectacular, though. Oh, so yeah, I don't see much here that's going to lead me to want to stick around. So I think we're back to uh, rolling north and across. I think we came here and that was a wasp one and we just drove away. So we're, we're either going down this road network, which also is going to dead end. Or trying to connect out this direction. That's... Yeah, we got one more option up that way. But other than that, we're getting close to completing a circle as much as we can. 
We've got a little better ability to fight now that we've got a melee weapon, but still no skill. And there's still going to be a lot of zombies with a lot of evolved. So, unfortunately, you're going to see me avoid a lot because this character is, uh, uh, is bad. <laughs> it's just bad. I mean, no particular stat bonuses for combat, no skills for combat, no uh, mutations, cybernetics, martial arts, none of that. We're, we're rolling a bookworm. So... One second, I'm uh, catching up on some catching up on some notifications that rolled in. Be just a moment. Okay. Um. Ah, looks like we have a. Uh, a knowledgeable individual about the whole grave katana thing in chat. <clears throat> I will not say anything about it further to preserve the sanctity of the spoilers <laughs> for people that don't want to know. Chat can either close their eyes or get a ping from the, uh, the person that knows. Either way. I suspect that it was possibility. <clears throat> Let's keep driving. Yeah, we're running out of easy opportunity looting. That's the main takeaway here. That was the other semi. Me go scout again. Oh, well, we're near the scout tower, so that's no surprise. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty obscure <laughs> spoiler reference. I, I wouldn't do to put out to uh, just go ahead and put it in chat. All right, down this road. the uh Doop. there you go <laughs> we're creeping in on it it's getting close <clears throat> another rural house i don't think i'm gonna visit this rural house too many of these things around <laughs> we have uh we have become aware that i really don't like these heavily infested swamp areas them and their swamp critters can just go to heck Go straight to hack. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. Goodbye, swamp creatures. One rural house loot is not worth the danger. Alright, so... Like we might make it to that road network over there without getting interfered. Well, when there's eight of them over there, it's, it's as bad. <laughs> 
I don't disagree. There are a few things that are as bad as the uh, stupid wasps. Oh, sure. It can always get worse. It's cataclysm. Luna Park. And another car with all sorts of beautiful storage capacity. Storage batteries. And Luna Park's pretty full. Can't fiddle with you, Mr. Uh, Solar Vehicle. Hey, turn the wheel. <laughs> think we are in a new road network that's beyond where my maps. Yep, so my map's cut out. We don't have this region mapped. We need to get another map. Uh, moose. Nope, no problem. That's not a dangerous moose. What do we got? Meth? Stimulants? Bike battery? I don't want the pork pie hat. I've never actually used a caffeine pill. Do we want to rip the chemistry station out? We've now got better storage capacity for odds and ends until I can get them installed. Do it from inside the vehicle. A little safer. If I have the tool with me, remove. Bolt turning it too. That damn wrench. <laughs> damn you, wrench. I only got bolt turning one. Uh oh, another industrial facility and a steelworks. Um. <laughs> Stay low. See if this is a uh, zombie infested light industry or one of the weird ones that have no zombies. Not seen any zombies so far. Why I'm seeing these with no zombies recently, I don't know. Sure would be nice if they gave me a wrench though. Hey, return the cursor to its normal position. <laughs> uh, I am wielding nothing currently. Let's... Let's grab the wood axe, I think. Chainsaw with some gas, bottle jack, and a flashlight. We'll take the bottle jack. We might need to do something with that. Toss that out again. Too heavy. Unfortunately, that was the most likely place. A brick kiln, electric jackhammer, a toolbox, please. What's it got? It's got... Nope, it doesn't have it. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, it's got the hammer, the screwdriver set, and the funnel. Don't need that. That is unfortunate. Okay, not usually anything over there I care about.
A toilet plunger. I don't think I have sunglasses yet. Eh, we'll hold out. What do we got? Biodiesel. Internal combustion. Not bad. Used to love the old history of firefighting book. Yeah, no zombies. I don't know why. <clears throat> Working van, not much gas. I should probably rip off the wing mirrors. Oh, the other one's broke. This is where something nasty does show up up here, and then I'm two blocks away from my escape vehicle. What do we got there? Hiking backpack! <laughs> okay. All about swords. Uh-oh. Headless horror. Where? Oh, north along the fence. So up in the other area. All right. Those will be no problem. Actually, give me the smartphone. Start practicing our... Whoops. What did I just do? I unloaded my mag. My body strains. Oh, that was probably from earlier uh reload that one i was trying to unload the f what the hell it's not letting me arrow to the right <laughs> that's interesting i can't i can't just do right arrow to get to this category i have to go left left huh and i am overweight uh Gotta remember, I got the bad back on this guy. Let's just grab the mildly okay stuff. Oh wait, I got a, I got a sweet tooth. What am I thinking? I need all the candy. I guess these count. <laughs> just grab it all. Atomic energy. Uh, sure, I guess. Whoops. Yes, I know I'm overweight. Grab it anyway. I will suffer the consequences. Ugh, dang it. I can't get a wrench. <laughs> I can get this acetylene torch and an arc welder, but I can't get a wrench. Yeah, we definitely got to come back for that. That's some primo stuff there. <laughs> slip and fall, slip and fall, slip and fall. Okay. Let you go. We'll read the books and ditch the foods. So much foods. Well, that got us uh, the extra mech that I need, so we'll be able to get our mech up to uh, seven, which is the minimum I need to do all the work for the Humvee. Other than that, we didn't gain any other skills that we can actually use too much of. That's unfortunate. Um, Yeah, if they're gonna start, if they're gonna keep having no enemies here, I might have to put it back on my do not visit list. Feel a bit, I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit, you know, scummy. I want to grab and free stuff.
So, we could grab some metal parts. I'm still short my damn wrench, though. It annoys me. What do we got? 46, 9, and 180. 180 at 200. That one's actually getting a little close. I'm going to be careful of that one. Let's go uh, to there from here. The weapons in there. Down to 170. Put the clothes in there. 160. All right, that's a little better. Now, go uh, inventory here and to there. Arc welder, acetylene torch. We got no gas for the torch. Can I install the welder without... To take to put the welder in, I forget. I gotta take the seat out to even see. Or the aisle. I don't have a place that's gonna let me put it. That's not gonna let me. Um... All right, let's rip out the aisle there. Oh, that's right. I got to turn it into the vehicle welding rig, and I still need a, a wrench. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Okay. Um don't have the vehicle welding rig recipe. Let's uh, let's just keep driving. I have a meat jerky and some tor tortilla chips. And let me catch up on chat. What's the go-to food stuffing food these days? Butter. It's all about the butter. <laughs> Unless you're playing a late start game, which I thought my start was late enough that the butter would be gone, but we're still finding some of it. It's still it's getting old pretty quick, but uh, we, we can still stuff a few more sticks of butter in. Doke. So, steel mill is probably going to be a dead end. Uh, I think I'm going to keep following this for a ways. I'm not going to keep going too far because our center point was right up there. But we might backtrack and try to connect up to that one up north. Well, hey there, zombies. Yeah, man, there's a town gonna block us off. Well, that'll be a quick trip. Zombies. An inhaler. Wallet. Right into a town. Um. Little tiny bit of maneuvering room here at the entrance to get a look at things, but. I don't want to pull too many zombies out away from the main town area. It looks like I might be able to get into these houses right here. Alright, let's do a little bit of a uh, smashing the grill. There, took, took care of that problem. Ah, Grim Howlers. 35 and 35. Coming my way. Um. Let them come. Now we'll back up. Hopefully they don't push me right into the trees. That would suck. One down. Another one still behind me. Oh, now I, now zombies are coming out. <laughs> That's unfortunate. 
Ugh, I hate it when they just bounce into the side. Might be in this area for a bit trying to take advantage, so let's smush up the parts. Uh oh, who's on the road now? A third one? Alright. Ugh, I knew he was gonna bounce. <laughs> I can't can't tuck to the right without Yep. <laughs> Shock zombie. That's right in the area I was hoping to, uh, you know, quietly get into some, some houses. Alright, Grim Haller, you need to get off of the damn trees. <laughs> That's what needs to happen here. Come north. Get off of the damn trees. There you go. Hopefully that's it for the howlers. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> uh, this might be bad. <laughs> Yay! We're having fun! I <laughs> uh, wonder what else I broke. <laughs> let's see. Now that we've come to a stop, let's get back out of here. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. That was fun. That's why you want to keep your driving skill low, so you can have fun things like that happen. Oh, vehicle six, I still managed to do that? I didn't think I was going anywhere near fast enough to cause that to happen. Oh yeah, you can do stuff like that. Generally, if you want to do fun things like power slides, you want to do it with low vehicle driving skill. So, try to turn off this driving option as soon as you can, <laughs> as soon as you remember. Just open up your character screen, tab to the skill section, you can turn skills off and on via this. So turn it off so you stay low skill. That way you uh, lose control easier. Lose control is kind of, you know, loosely defined, but um, there's a, uh, a handbrake you can pull to, uh, you get going fast on, on a road like this and you start turning and you hit the handbrake and you do all sorts of fun power slides and stuff. So, good times. Just be aware that collision damage is pretty wonky and you, you may have unexpected results. Didn't even break my headlights. Eh, we're still in fine shape. Yeah, we got more coming at us than I was wanting, though. So, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five that I can see so far. If I pull them back and then shoot them from a little further away with our many, many bullets, might not get the entire neighborhood coming after me. I'd rather uh, try to minimize the number of times I ram things. Oh man, not pupating. Pupating Brute. Well, there you go, kids. There you go. We apparently now have pupating brutes. <laughs> They're just uh, starting to feel like uh, the Diablo loot creation, where we just have... Uh, Prefixes and suffixes that just get appended to all of the enemies now. Create base enemy and then start appending suffixes and prefixes. For all their glorious variations. Okay, Mr. Pupating Brute.
Yeah, I knew I was in trouble when I was still out, like, right here. And it was showing my speed as still, like, 23 set, 23 current. And I was completely sideways. So I tapped it once. We slid. I was still at the same speed, so I knew it was going to keep going. We tapped it again. We were, like, right here. I'm like, yep, yep, we're going to the wall. <laughs> it slid farther than I thought it would from when it started sliding. But, uh, yeah, good times, good times. That's when you know you're having fun. <laughs> The worst case is getting stuck in the wall, getting attached in some way with a corner of the vehicle or something, and then uh, getting swarmed under by, uh, by the zombies that were pouring out of there. That would have been good times. What's that? Somebody mentioned farming and me? Who would dare? Who would dare? Waxy mention farming? No way did Waxy mention farming. <laughs> not, not with me. Oh, don't understand why Vorm hates farming so much when he was willing to find a cow he could have unlimited butter. I don't really care. <laughs> it's simple as that. Food is an incredible irrelevancy for anybody that's got any real experience and knowledge of the game. It's at best a tiny, tiny minor inconvenience in certain circumstances. So, I just use the lazy stuff when it's an opportunity. So, pine nuts when it was a thing, raw, raw fat when it was a thing, vegetable, animal oil, cooking oil when it was a thing. Now we're on to butter. But, I mean, it's, it's never than more than a really, really tiny irrelevancy. Okay, let's get back to business. I gotta decide. Is it worth just trying to shoot up some of these zombies? Or do we keep driving? Yeah, let's let's try shooting up some zombies. We'll see if we can make we can kill a few and not end up with just four hundred million zombies coming my way because of the gunfire. Summer and fall basically means unlimited food. <laughs> That's the funny thing, though. I think I reach summer day one maybe once every 30 or so challenges that I run. <laughs> it's extremely rare for me to even get to summer day one. Long-term food is not something I ever have to worry about. So it depends on your playstyle. Depends on your playstyle, your goals, and how long you keep a character in the game world. There's a lot of stuff that I just disregard because I'm not going to be in the game world long enough for to care. Just like right now, we we have the reemergence of vitamins being something that might be necessary. But if your character's out of the game world before the vitamin deficiency has time to actually develop and hit, then you don't really care. So. And I don't really collect that much from the environment anyway. There's just so much food in houses, no matter what spawn you, or what uh, time frame you start in. Even with all the uh, perishable goods rotten, there's still just tons and tons and tons of canned goods and vending machines and MREs and so on to eat. As long as you're moving, as long as you're traveling, you pretty much have a non-stop food supply. If you're staying in one place and doing a static base, it can be a little different. If you don't travel far from one location, it would might it might be important to start getting replenishing food supplies. Uh, totally different play style than what I do, so... Uh, what was I doing? I wasn't doing that. Let's see. I, uh, keep the axe? Yeah, keep the axe. Let's wield the rifle. Put the axe back in the bag. And let's grab some loose rounds for reloads. I should probably grab that and reload it. I actually haven't unloaded the, uh... I haven't uh, uh, taken the, the bullets out of those belts. Whoops. They're right here with me, are they? Hey, tough zombie. Oh my god, if only I had had a rail sight and a, and a grip and a, another fancy doodad to put on my rifle, that combat would have been so much easier. It would have made so much difference. Snark mode engaged. 
All right, let's uh, get that reloaded. It. God dang it, I can't go right. <laughs> it's bugging me. Why can I not go right? I thought they fixed most of these. One system interfering with another menu system's uh, menu options. So they broke they broke my ability to go right on these menus somehow. Huh. Alright. I'm sure part of that's probably me rewiring the previous changes they made and have now either been unwired or something. The update probably re rebound or retasked some of my keys. I haven't noticed or looked yet. Suggestion for next Vormathrax challenge, just the most brutal, bloodthirsty character that must always, always use the most destructive weapon available to them. Found a nuke, guess what? Now you're wielding it. Must always use it in melee? <laughs> how, how, how do I use the nuke? Do I just make sure I never find one? <laughs> now, I think the next challenge is likely to be that new hunting challenge. I've got, a, I've got a lot of people asking me about that new hunting scenario, or hunted scenario, where you have a, a super beast that always knows where you're at that's coming at you. That's got a fairly high likelihood of being on the, the next challenge list. Okay, so the gunfire didn't pull that guy in. Next. Uh-oh, coming at me from two directions. <laughs> it's not letting me pulp. Guess I don't need to. Okay, let's uh do that thing where we don't get splashed. Hey zombie. Went up from the south, west, southeast. Yeah, let's get reloaded again. You, we're going to shoot from a little farther away. Let's avoid getting dazed. Uh-oh. Batwing zombie. Not moving very fast. Alright, anything hit the ground we care about? Bolt cutters? Eh. Chocolate covered coffee beans. Not really. So the gunfire is not doing much to draw. Too many my way. Closer I step though. Yeah, here they come. <laughs> that finally got some attention. That's, uh, yeah, that crowd might be a bit much. By the time I let them in range and the way they're stacked up. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Back out of there. See if they stagger out a bit. I might have to drive away a bit. Make sure we hit them in smaller clumps. Yeah, they stopped where I last started shooting. They'll all come running in one big group, though, as soon as I open fire on this guy. Nope, they didn't come running. Yeah, and the sound system is so weird. So, just fired the gun twice. These guys are still hunkered down where I fired previously. So we have not overridden their uh, desire to <laughs> investigate the previous spot. Uh, 
It doesn't look like that's going to change. Let's see. If I approach, I need to get one shot on the bloated and then probably two on the shocker. Preferably before I get shocked. Maybe we can take a long range pot shot and get the bloated. Oh. What do we got? 40%? I'll take it. Cool. Good shot. Back off. Now. Oh, we're going to get shocked if I don't get him soon. There we go. All right, now I'm not really worried. Lots of wallets. Still not seeing anything I care much about. All right, let's uh, let's back the vehicle up. I didn't get the pupating yet, did I? Uh-oh. Smoker zombie. Where'd the pupating go? <laughs> did I get him? No, he's the trails leading south. He, he went off on his own little adventure, apparently. Alright, that's fine with me. Uh, where's the smoker? Right there in front, huh? That could be a little bit of a problem, depending on what kind of shot I get with no skill. Yeah, let's stretch this one out. Him I might be willing to run over. He's faster than everybody, so we'll we'll take one one opportunity at him here. What kind of number are we getting? Thirty one percent. Take the shot. Oh, grazing hit. Take the shot. Another grazing hit. Just out of range. Start shooting him a little early. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really making much progress. We're burning ammo, but I'm not getting any closer to the buildings. Uh, acid first. So again, at the engagement ranges and the numbers, it's just, I just don't care about anything other than utility mods, mostly. That's why I also pay very little attention to which gun I'm using beyond what type of ammo does it use and how many shots can I fit in. Nobody in range, eh, one guy coming. Whoops. That might be a little tougher. 31%, huh? Ooh, lucky shot. <laughs> lucky shot. Butcher. This member. All right. I think we got everything butchered up. Yeah, that pupating took a magical mystery tour. I, I, I don't know where he went. He, he spotted something he liked. Oh, we have not yet begun to make a mess. <laughs> 
Damn it! See? Every single time I come over, more and more and more stuff. It's just magical. It's magical the way it works. I think some of this... I have wander, I have wander hordes turned on, don't I? I do have wandering hordes. Part of this is uh, wander spawns, is uh, having fun with the amount of noise I'm making and dropping hordes on the outskirts. Right at the edge of my, my reality bubble. So that's where these have likely come from. Um, it's just going to be more and more and more ammo. I think I'm going to turn around and go back up north. Because it may never stop. <laughs> the way the sound and the wandering horde system and everything interacts, it's possible this doesn't stop. Until I kill a lot of zombies. Especially in a double zombie game world. I mean, look at that crowd already. Yeah, let's just take off for now. Hey, uh, smoke zombie pupating zombie. <laughs> I don't know where you guys wandered off to. Rail yards usually got a ton as well. What do we got in there? Headless horror, dissolutes, zappers, acidic. Eh, it's not nearly as bad as I was expecting for the evolution level we're at. So it's possible I could get my tools there. There is a tool shop like right in here somewhere. There's like a room with a bunch of tools in it. I don't often try to get the tools there because they put so many zombies in this place. See if I can spot it from outside here. Uh, it's like, I think it's... How far into the building am I? No, I think it's further over. Yeah, I think it's in this main building here and like this section. But too many zombies. Hey, body sight. What's going on up here? Zombies getting getting thrashed by a scout again? Uh-oh. Dermatic. Dermatic. Uh, I don't care about that body sight. Oh, I got a, I got a hiking backpack on. I got to swap out my... Swap out this stuff I'm using. All right, let's get away from this. Um, yeah, that way. All right, we're in the clear. We're in the clear. So, golf bag, hiking backpack. We'll ditch the hiking backpack for now. We'll we'll go with my always wonderful and happy to have golf bag. Save that one for later. Anything else to ditch? I think we're good on everything else. Other than getting a reload done on my weapon. So, we do have a connection to this road network. That's good. Don't know exactly where it's going to take me. Again, that was our starting point. We're just kind of circling around looking for opportunities. Do you have your stereo constantly running? No, it won't. That's not loud enough. You have to do noise on the level of gunfire. Now, I, I don't know the formulas, the numbers. That's just been my experience in the past. In order for wander spawns to really start messing with you, it has to be loud. Just your puttering around your workshop or listening to the radio is not going to do it. hell am I hitting? Giant antlion larva? <laughs> there was a, a giant antlion larva in front of me? Okay. I was not aware. But I had a giant antlion larva issue. We have, uh, we have binoculars now. See if we can hop onto a tower with our binoculars. Uh, really? Go straight up? All right. What did we learn? Anything useful? Well, we got a fire lookout tower. Might have that nifty survivor vehicle we've been trying to do a run with. Another silo. 
Other silo, house, eh, minor items possible at the house, maybe a book or two. Uh, don't care about the orchard, don't really care about the mine, other than if I blow a bunch of ammo, we can get a, a re-up on my diesel. It does have a diesel gas pump. Have to kill about 50 miners. FEMA camp? I haven't messed with FEMA camps in forever, but I haven't been too impressed with what I've seen there. On the outer edge of uh, the city. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. Hunting supply store next to a recycling center. It's a prime looting opportunity. Get a lot of good stuff. Hmm. We can also approach. Back go back we go. We can uh, we can squeeze through here to get to the southern side, and it might have a way around or get us closer to that spot. All right, that's good to know. We might be able to take advantage of that. For now, we're just going to uh, check in at the house real quick. Um, then we're going to roll north again. I might come across here to see just how much of the north side of this we can we can sweep for opportunities to run in and loot houses. We'll see. And we'll drive in as far as. I don't have to turn. Right there is fine. Gallon jug, cooking oil. More cooking oil. And what? Canned chicken? Hell uh, yeah, we'll take canned chicken. I don't want the rest. stick <laughs> that's about it out and yeah we're gonna follow that road north <laughs> not that road Can anything get inside a vehicle with a floorboard missing out in the middle like that? Uh, the floorboard isn't necessary. <laughs> if you mean, can like an animal go through the other parts of the vehicle? No. The only thing that might go there is uh, like a worm type of enemy, but they can come right up through the floorboards anyway. So the presence of the floorboard is not stopping the movement of enemies. Just like you can loot from the ground underneath the floorboards. I could drive over top of something and pick it up right off the ground. Even with floorboards in position. It's a bit of silliness I demonstrate every once in a while. Okay, road network. I guess we'll go a peek at the mine, see how many miners want to say hi. It's gonna be like 30 or so <laughs> by the time they all pile out of the, the building. At least. Seven zombie miners in sight so far. Oops. Is that a research facility? Oh, another transcoast. So we got three transcoasts pretty close to each other. One there, two there. I'm thinking maybe there might be a few too many of these. <laughs> well, maybe not. Some maps I've seen, almost none. So, too early to comment really on that part. Uh, so, some vehicles, some solar power. 
We're up to 12 miners and a few extras. And they haven't piled out of the building yet. I can't see back to the far corner of the little garage here to see if there's any tools. Not from this angle, anyway. What you got in there? Screwdriver set and a rubber hose. I got one space I can't see. And it has, was that a hammer? Pipe? Fire iron. No wrench. How about inside? Uh, it's going to be all the rocks and minerals and stuff. You got soap? You, you got your big old bags of salt? Because that'd be cool. I'd take salt. Hey, rock salt. Does that count? I don't know if that counts. Um, so yeah, there's also uh, two pumps. One's regular gas, one's diesel. There's the diesel pump. So I just have to, uh, you know, shoot a whole bunch of zombies. What are we at? Oops. We're at uh, 46. We are burning gas at a fair rate. They upped the, uh, the diesel burn rate sometime a while back. Though I do have to pay more attention to it than I used to, but... I think we got enough. I'm not going to worry about this right now. We might find a better, easier opportunity without having to... Like that! <laughs> <laughs> I was about three seconds away from saying, uh, we'll look for a Humvee, or a, a, an APC. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. Ah, uh, the coinkadinks that happen in Cataclysm. How much? Yeah, there's another 40 liters. That's plenty. Although we're running, are we running JP8 now? I forget. Yeah, we're running regular diesel. Uh, we'll toss it in the other tank. Okay, there we go. Don't want to reload the grenade launcher. There's no ammo in it. There's... Uh, nothing else I care too much about currently. I guess we'll take the, uh, we'll grab things like the five point harnesses. Also known as long ropes. So we'll grab that from both of the seats. And, uh, reinforced headlights. Yeah, let's yank the reinforced headlights. We're going to bust ours up pretty quickly. And I think that's going to be it. Turret mount? Hmm. Hmm. I don't have... What's my... I don't have the rifle skill to install a 50 cal turret yet. What am I up to? Oh, actually I do. We are at rifles too. Well, never mind. Yeah, let's 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 grab the turret mount. Rip that off. Cut that out. It'll do for now. That's fun. Though. <laughs> exactly what I was I was going to talk about is the uh, hope of getting a an easy APC to get some more gas. So yeah, we'll we'll hold the miners in the mining location in reserve for emergency gas if we need it. Uh, shall we peek at the front of the? Uh, uh, maybe I can lure the soldiers out, kill them just to get some more grenades. Problem being, of course, I'm going to get a million other zombies out of this place. Alright, let's uh, pull away. See if we can drag these guys with me. 